Hello everyone, good to see you all again. My name is Bostian Taish, Slow Hops, Farms, Slovenian Hops Supply Representative here from Slovenia. We are those who send you all these good looking, fine aromatic, Styrian character hops. Uh, we represent small but long lasting tradition of growing hops here in Slovenia. 119 hop growers grow 13 different commercial hop varieties with unique Styrian character on 1,600 hectares which is almost 4,000 acres. Our more noble hop varieties like Selea, Savinsky, Aurora and Bobek are used in pretty much balanced traditional ale, lager, pisno type of beers. Uh, comparing to our more intense flavor varieties for the latest beer trends with tangerine, pineapple, tropical fruit or New York cap piece if you want, notes are and strong names like Dragon, Cardinal, Wolf, Eagle, Eureka, Fox, Colibri we definitely are very confident for the future. Today we are here on a farm and we would like to give you a short crop 2022 update uh, for the Charles Farham Hop Walk 2022. We are here with uh, a young hop grower, Yerne Ribic. We are here in Schimpeter. Uh Hello, Yerne, how are you? Thanks, Mr. I'm fine. <laughs> Yerne Ribic uh, is a, a member of Slovenian Hop Growers Association who is also a member of uh, International Hop Growers Convention, IAGC. Yerne is a guy who normally speaks at the IGC meetings and gives presentations about Slovenian industry. Isn't that right, Yerne? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And he, as he has told me, he is very keen to give us this 2022 crop update for the Charles Farm Hop Walk. So Yerne, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you too, Mr. Yerne, please. Could you please answer us the most important question? How the hops look like this year? Please. Uh, thank you for the question, Mr. Uh, yeah, hops uh, generally uh, looking good, despite all very difficult uh, weather conditions this year. Uh, the hop plants were exposed to very high uh, temperatures during the summer time, and also the lack of precipitation. Uh, Fortunately, the hop growers in Slovenia have good uh, developed uh, irrigation systems. 90% uh, of hop fields are irrigated, uh, mostly with dripping uh, irrigation systems or with sprinklers. So this contributed in the, in, the, in the wide range that hops looks as it looks. Uh, so it's nice, green, uh, looks healthy. Yeah. Um, also, we're expecting, if we're talking about uh, the, the numbers, we're expecting an average, uh, an average uh, yields. Yeah. Uh, the quality also could be around the average or slightly above the average. So you mentioned pretty basically pretty much all my uh, questions that I would li like to ask. But anyway, did any varieties suffer more than others this year? Uh, yeah, early varieties are more susceptible to high temperatures in earlier months, it means in May or in the start of uh, June. Um, so the varieties such as Savinsky Golding uh, develop too fast, so starts to bloom too early, which lower the yield and generally this variety, for example, uh, will be uh, under average. Uh, later varieties in comparison uh, works much better. Uh, they uh, had more time to develop, to make more lateral shoes, yeah. to, to, to develop more flowers and then coins, um, and uh, works better. Also, I could mention new varieties bred yeah. in the Institute for Hop Research and Brewing in Jalets, um, such as uh, Dragon, Wolf, Cardinal, Steering Gold, yeah. and uh, the big, uh, big uh, advantage of this uh, rights is that they work better in more stressful weather conditions. They are more stable, the quality is more stable, and the yields from one year to another is more stable in comparison to more uh, traditional, or I can say maybe older varieties. So we are already, you can say we are already in advantage to the weather somehow. Uh, yes, we, we can say that we have a uh, good breeding program, program and also good to develop uh, irrigation systems uh, which is controlled and the water is also very efficiently uh, uh, consumed. Yeah. Very good, very good. So all these new varieties and all other varieties 
that were bred and instituted. You could say also more resistance to any pests and diseases. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, some of them uh, shows more uh, tolerance or resistance to some diseases, maybe some more than others. But uh, 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 generally, we can say it's uh, it's uh, big improvement. Big improvement. Yeah. Very good. So, for the end, you can say the the quality. What what kind of a hops that our customers can expect? Uh, yeah, generally we can uh, we can we can. Uh, in short short version, yeah. Yeah, we generally expecting uh, uh, quite good uh, quality. I would say around the average. If we we, we talk. Uh, about uh, the, the alpha acids uh, levels or essential oils, about average, a little bit, uh, some wines maybe up to average. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, it depends on the variety and if the uh, particular field was irrigated or if it was not irrigated. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very good, very good. Thanks, Irene. Yeah, as I have mentioned earlier, we see all these new hops coming in. Uh, we stand here in front of this beautiful Styrian Dragon hop garden. Are there any other advantages for the growers growing this kind of varieties? Yes, Bustian, you're right. Uh, this uh, variety particular here, uh, it has more tolerant to more stressful weather conditions. Uh, and this was one of the reasons also in the Institute for, for Hop Research and Brewing in Jalets to develop this kind of variety which give growers um, stable production also in more uh, stressful uh, situations such as this year uh, too high temperatures or lack of precipitation uh, so uh, it works quite well as we can see here yeah this this hops really looks uh, beautiful. If I can take some cones of the, the plant and I open them, you open it. Wow, it's full of lippling glands inside. And the smell, the smell is fantastic. What is that? It's, is that a tangerine? Yeah, it could be. Uh, this uh, variety actually develop a very nice citrus uh, aromas. As you say, a tangerine, a grapefruit, maybe lemon. But is a perspective of some person. Wow, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic smell. Yeah. Cheers, man. Quite an interview we had with Yerne today. So I know it is the most busiest time of the year for you, Yerne, uh, and I understand you need to go back to work and. Appreciate your time. Uh, appreciate your contribution to this uh, uh, report that you gave us. So thank you very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for your visit, Christian, and uh, wish you all a great event. Thank you, Anne. And yes, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, and I hope you really received a good update about what is happening this year or what happened this year here in Slovenia. Uh, I really hope you enjoy it uh, and I re we really hope all that you will have a good results with this year crop and uh, I hope you will enjoy further uh, a hop walk uh, over there in Worcester or in Hereford. Thank you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.